doing a favourites video for you all. I haven't done a favourites video since about February so I thought I would do one. This is kind of a bit like March and April's favourites. Um, mostly this month with a few thrown in from last month as well as some bits and bobs that I've been loving at the moment as well. So I thought I would do a favourites video for you all because I haven't done one and share with you what I've been loving recently. So I'm going to start off with hair care as I have three hair care bits and they're all from the same company and all by the same range and it is the Lee Stafford Hair Growth. I have been using this now for about two or three weeks, something like that, since I bought it basically, and I've been using all three in combination together. So I've got the shampoo, conditioner, and the hair treatment mask, as and a leave-in treatment, but that's like all the way over there, so I can't get it. But that's just like a spray-in treatment for what you use after, if like you've shampooed your hair and everything like that. Like when you go to like blow dry your hair, you use that. But I have used this range before in the past and I loved it, it made my hair grow and I've got to say that it actually is helping me with my hair growth. I feel like my hair feels th thicker and fuller as well and I do feel like my hair is growing a little bit more than what it usually does. Um, time will tell really sickly when my hair gets to about two months you'll be able to see like a big difference hopefully because of the fact that I dye my hair you can see my roots. But I am really enjoying it so far and I got mine in boots when it was on offer and I've nearly gone through a whole tub of the treatment stuff as you need so much of it but I have used about half a bottle of the shampoo and conditioner so far as well so you can tell I am enjoying it. Now on to two body items or tan items and that is fake tan. I am tanned right now, I've been tanned for quite a few of my videos recently, I really do enjoy fake tan, I just love it. Um, I always like to use it as like a confidence boosting thing, it makes me feel a bit more confident when I have a tan on for some reason and I just don't know why but I really like it. I've tried a lot of tans and some have been disastrous and some have been like absolutely amazing and these two are pretty good. One's quite cheap compared to the other one I'm guessing um, but the first one is the one that I'm actually wearing right now and it is the Coco Brown Tan and this is the One Hour Mousse in Dark. This is my first ever tin of the stuff. When I first used it, I wasn't sure about it. Then I gave it another go and I just absolutely loved it. And I'm now got like, when I shake it, I can hear that I've got the tiniest amount of fake tan left. It most probably won't be able to do like the top part of my body, not a whole body. Um, I've used this now, I think, something like four times, four or five times for a whole body tan, which is amazing for one tin. Um, and it's, I, I personally think it's worth the money four times for our full body and then I think I used it once to do my legs or something as well and I've still got a little bit left in there which I don't know how much it's going to do it could do a whole body for all I know but it's really nice, it comes out really nicely um, I sometimes leave it on overnight and it still looks exactly the same as if you used to leave it on for an hour and I just, I don't know, I just really like the colour, it looks quite nice on my skin tone and yeah, I really like it and then the other one is another one hour tan and this is by Soleil and which is by Super Drugs and this is just their wear off one hour express tan for face and body and this is in medium dark. I've used this about two or three times now and I do like it. It doesn't compare to the Coco Brown one but for a budget version it is actually pretty good for like a one hour tan and it does leave quite a nice like tan on my hands and everything. It's not the most natural tan compared to that one I will admit. This one you can kind of tell you're wearing fake tan. But it is still really, really good and I'm still going to use it up and everything and I do enjoy it. And yeah, it's just a nice little tan. Now on to some makeup items and the first one is the one that I'm wearing on my lips and this is Clueless by Colourpop. I recently did a Colourpop haul, which if you haven't seen I'll link it down below for you all. I did a Colourpop haul and I bought um, a couple of their ultra matte lip cream things and I got Clueless. And I just, I just love it basically. It's such a nice pinky kind of shade pinky nude that I can wear it like during the day if I want to and wear it during the night as well like today I've got it like curled I had my khaki top on when I was out and it just looked really really nice like a nice sort of colour combination and it's just really nice and long lasting and like it wears really well it doesn't really transfer when I drink anything or anything like that and it's just so pretty and so comfortable to wear as well. The other makeup item is also by Colourpop and it's their highlighter in Wisp. I really like this it's just a shade, I love it, but it's a shame I picked up just this shade because I can only wear this when I'm tanned because it gives me a bit of a funny colour when I'm pale but it's such a nice shade for when I'm like, I've got a tan on today just dabbing a little bit onto the cheekbones and the cupid's bow and everything but it's such a pretty colour, it's just such a weird texture though because it's really really soft 
that if you again can order ColourPop I would definitely recommend trying out one of their highlighters as they are like quite a unique texture and they're really really nice and the last actual beauty related item I have is my perfume this month and that is Bronze Goddess the reason why I'm kind of showing you this as well is because in May they do release Bronze Goddess and Bronze Goddess is just the best smelling perfume ever it is summer when the weather starts to get good in April I started whipping this out because I love Bronze Goddess and I do save this because obviously it's hard to get but uh, I've got half a bottle left and I just I love it I'm gonna have to treat myself to a new bottle this year as well but it's like the nicest summer like smell ever and I just love putting it on especially when I'm at work because I can still smell it and it just kind of like reminds me of summer when I put it on so the next item I have to show you is something that Mitchell bought me and it's this ring that I'm wearing I will do a close-up for you but it's this princess tiara ring from um, Pandora. I really really love this. I got this I think around about the start of April um, when we went up London for the day and it kind of has only left my finger when I'm at work because I don't want it to get ruined but it's just the cutest ring ever and I absolutely love it and I don't know it's just so cute to look at as well. Some other things I've been enjoying this month, the first thing has to be my TV programs. I have loved watching Game of Thrones. I finished season 5 in April ready for season six to start at the end of April and obviously I've now been watching season six because it's like mid-May and I'm loving Game of Thrones so much I absolutely love it um I'm also really enjoying The League if you've never heard of what The League is it's like this weird program basically about people that do fantasy football over in America but like just the jokes and that that they come out of is really really good and I watched all of that in April and I've like finished it as well and I really really like that and music wise I've really discovered Panic at the Disco my 14 year old self has like come alive inside again basically I used to listen to them years and years and years ago and it was only recently in someone's vlog they were playing the song and I was like oh I haven't heard of Panic at the Disco in quite a while so I've be recently been listening to it and my other favourite has to be going to the gym I have recently started the gym in April I think it was and I've been going and I'm really enjoying it so far and um, yeah, getting ready for that summer body which may not happen because I've also enjoy been enjoying hot chocolate when I'm at work which is terrible. But yeah, um, that is all my favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favourite of April was or what you're enjoying at the moment um, down in the comments down below because I would love to know. Again, I will leave linked here, a clickable link and down below the video for my Colourpop haul so you can go check that out as well and i will catch you all in my next video bye Which is